Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the latest installment of Zippo. Remember to hit the subscribe button below this video to support the channel. Today we are focusing our energies on a not so geographically important area in Nairobi, but one whose political relevance is hard to ignore. Kibera has been in the news lately following the passing of Honorable Ken Okoth in July. One that left a hole that will definitely be difficult to fill. No sooner were the residents done with mourning their hero, than politicians and wannabe politicians started salivating for the vacant seat. The race is officially on. Sensing a tough political battle ahead, the ODM party put its house in order and listened to the people of Kibra giving the nomination certificate to Ken's brother Imran, who also happened to be the late MP's aide. I hear the guy even served in the area CDF committee for years. Considering the area is an opposition stronghold and Ray Laudinga's political home, one would think that the ODM nomination was as good as the by-election itself. That Imran is now the automatic area MP, right? Wrong. Nothing could be further from the truth. Enter Deputy President William Ruto, who against the spirit of handshake, went against the wishes of his boss Uhuru Kenyatta and decided to take the battle right at Baba's doorstep. Samo Chokozi. Knock knock. Who's there? Mariga. Mariga who? Mariga the famous footballer who the good doctor is using to send Baba's political career to the dogs. But even before Mr. McDonald occupied his desk at the Jubilee House in Pangani, the IBC threatened to kill his political ambitions in its infancy. This amid claims by a junior officer that Mr. Mariga is not a registered voter. Well, we won't delve into the nitty gritties of what transpired after that. But let me say, people underestimated the cunning team that is Dennis Itumbe and his friends. Theirs is the Shingombrefu Kamaya Giraffe. Insert Moe's voice. They see problems even before they appear. You may call it reverse politics. On Monday, July 16th, the IBC's Disputes Tribunal gave Mariga the nod to vie in Kibra because, well, the guy is duly registered as a voter and that's the only thing that matters. The Piruto's team exploited all the legal loopholes to ensure the most formidable candidate is fronted against Raila. Let's face it, the battle in Kibra won't be between Mariga and Imran, but rather pit the former area MP Raila Odinga against his nemesis William Bruto, a rehearsal for the big one in 2022. With Mariga family in the race, there's now an unprecedented 23 hopefuls eyeing to be the next Kibra MP. In the end though, it is the local people who will make the final decision on November the 7th. Aya. Kazi sasa yanze.